recorded it all, every conversation between you and Wyatt. The kid knows too much. Let's go for a ride. This movie's a lot about privacy and kind of where our country's going, all this NSA stuff. Yeah, the whole world. Yeah, yeah, where do you stand with that? I mean, how far is too far in your mind? I don't know, I think, uh, you know, we're, we're just becoming aware of, of um, how much privacy we really have yeah. and uh, uh, how powerful technology and communication we have in this day and age is. It's, it's, it's crazy to think that you know, all our information's been stored somewhere and that we're being you out? tracked. Absolutely, I think it creeps anyone out. I'm on the eve of a revolution, and it's something you're never going to be able to duplicate. The film concerns uh, itself with information that we willingly give up for the convenience of the, of the tool. Um, but that, that information has a commercial value and it comes back to bite us. Uh, scary. And um, that's been going on for a long time. Yeah. I, th I think people, uh, if they're not aware of it, it's, it's a purposeful lack of paying attention. I was born and raised in Brooklyn. My father was a security guard for over 32 years with nothing to show for it. So your character is <clears throat> working class, didn't want to end up like his father. Have you ever had any kind of tough jobs that were similar to that when you yeah. were before you were an actor? I, thought I did a lot of different jobs before I was an actor. I, really? I was a ranger at a penguin parade for a while. Hold on, uh, what's that mean? Uh, a penguin parade, was a, it's a, where I'm from we have a, a, a beach and uh, Every night we have uh, a couple of hundred penguins walk up the beach and there's a, we have a, um, like an amphitheater almost where people sit and watch and these little fairy penguins come up the, you know, up the sides of the, the sand dunes and I used to work at uh, one of those and I was a ranger there and I used to do that. That was kind of fun actually. The penguin Pengu wrangler. Penguin parade, yeah, penguin ranger. Yeah. Who would have ever thought, <laughs> here you are now. Yeah. You know, Liam Hemsworth's character was working class and I know that you built, you were a carpenter for a bit of time. Yeah. And you got your first role, is this right, when you did uh, cabinets for George Lucas? No. Not quite like that, Not huh? quite, but <laughs> close enough. Yeah? yeah? For the myth of it all. Oh, oh come so, on! No, no, well, I was actually, I was working for Francis Ford Coppola's uh, art director, installing a, an elaborate entrance to um, um, Francis. Uh, Ford Coppola's offices and George Lucas was using the office uh, to conduct interviews for Star Wars and uh, we hadn't seen each other since uh, American Graffiti and um, somehow people put all that together. And yeah, make, you're like connecting some, the dots. Yeah, some story out of it. I'm trying to sleep my way to the top. Are we covered? Okay, so let's talk about picking up chicks. I mean, I know you're in a different place in your life now, but in the movie, you, you know, very quickly pick up Amber Heard's character. Maybe that was with, with, with confidence. She was drunk. Yeah, she definitely. Was, She's like, was beer goggles. Yeah, yeah, beer but goggles. Um, I don't know. So, what are some tips we have for single guys, like when they're out at a club, when it's loud? Do you have any ideas of, like, how to pick up girls? Confidence, I guess, it would be the key. I, I don't I, I, Yeah, confidence, drink. Maybe just get really drunk and just shock your way in. Thing. I like that. Shark yeah. your way in. Shark your way in. What do you notice first in a man? Personally, I'm, I'm drawn to uh, to individuality. To yeah. I don't like the expected. I don't like the standard. I don't personally. Uh, I don't like the the pretty veneer. Uh, I don't like the the prepackaging. I like people that are their own person. Okay, what about turn offs? Any deal breakers? Well, I mean, I. I don't know, I think it would be um, someone who didn't have a problem, didn't have an issue, didn't have weird. Lack of weird is a deal breaker. Spying for Wyatt will land you in jail. Double crossing Goddard will get you killed. One last question. So, after this epic career you've had, um, what would you tell your younger self now? You know, the, the advice you get, or the advice you give yourself, is not as much value as the experience of making mistakes and figuring it out. We had good intel on this. Where did you get that intel from, Nick?